uh, we have discussed uh, different types of textile materials recycling in previous lectures we have discussed in detail about the mechanical recycling its advantages and disadvantages and further we have discussed about the chemical recycling of textile materials and the next we have also discussed about thermal recycling of the textile materials so there are four different types of recycling of textile materials first is mechanical that is used for natural and synthetic fibers and chemical recycling for synthetic fibers thermal recycling that is also for synthetic fibers and last is biological recycling that is used for the natural fibers and today our topic is about the biological recycling of textile materials and we will discuss about the process of biological recycling and its advantages its, its disadvantages and its applications of biological recycling of textile materials processes it involves first for which fibers it is used it is used for the natural fibers like cotton wool hemp and it is used for natural fibers so process process is it involves composting are breaking down the natural fibers through the biological process in the mechanical recycling fibers are shredded and in chemical recycling chemicals are used depolymerization is done and in the thermal recycling high temperature is given and different gases are used through in the biological process it involves the composting or breaking down the natural fibers through the biological process it has different advantages and disadvantages first we will discuss about the advantages it is environmentally friendly and biodegradable process second it is suitable for organic and non synthetic fibers on the other hand it has also disadvantages it is limited to natural fibers second is not scalable for large volume of textile materials further it has different applications first like soil conditioners and fertilizers second mulching materials so further fiber types it is used for cotton wool hemp and linen so biodegradable materials used in compost are agriculture applications it is the process that is used for the natural fibers so we i think by the lecture your concept about the biological recycling as it involves composting breakdown of natural fiber and it is environmentally friendly suitable for organic and non synthetic material and disadvantages we have observed that it is limited to natural fibers not scalable on the large volume these are the disadvantages and further it has soil applications like soil conditioner and fertilizers mulching materials and the fibers used for the biological recycling are cotton wool hemp and linen these are the biodegradable fibers i hope by this lecture your concept about the biological textile recycling would be very clear
see you in next lecture with another topic thank you lapis